My name is Alicia Moody, and I'm an HR director in our Life Sciences and Laboratory Products Group for the Commercial Process and Operations team. I'm also the global leader of the African Heritage Business Resource Group. Today is a monumental day for our BRG, as we are here in Waltham, Massachusetts, where we will raise the Black History Month flag. There are so many different races or um, countries, people of different African heritage origins at Thermo Fisher Scientific, which makes our um, groups in our BRG stronger and more rich and diverse. It's imperative that we celebrate our culture and reflect on both the history and teachings of African Americans, especially, I would say, educating our kids about the many achievements of people of color uh, throughout history. Uh, each year I always take an opportunity to just understand how is my local community engaging in, in the history of the month, right? So moving here to Boston, um, it's been exciting to see the embrace uh, as a new statue dedicating Dr. King and his wife. It's really honoring the, the work and legacy of leaders like MLK Jr. Um, and the struggles that they went through, you know, and, uh, and you know, I'm always struck by, you know, the example that they've set. One of my mentors early in my career told me, he said, hey, listen, it's okay to just be a black man because everybody knows that you're a black man. <laughs> We have colleagues and members from across five sites gathered here today. We also have the company leadership team joining us so we can all gather in harmony to celebrate and pay homage to black history, not only in the U.S., but around the world. So I also want to thank you all. As global leader of the African Heritage BRG, I can't tell you what this means for your presence here and helping us raise the flag. We raise it to celebrate and honor the African Heritage ancestry, and we also raise it to um, recognize the pain and struggle to get here. So thank you very much. We will now move to raise the flag. There's a richness and a diversity amongst African Americans. And that is what makes us strong. The cliche we hear often is that we stand on the shoulders of giants, and I, I certainly do. But I challenge uh, myself and challenge others to say, hey, the, the real goal is to be a giant and, and put as many people on your shoulders as possible. So at this time of year, I always like to thank my parents and my grandparents for all the achievements and goals that they have accomplished and giving me inspiration to do more, if not stand on their shoulders and inspire others. So I celebrate black history all year round. Uh, and whether that is learning about the accomplishments of those that have come before me or realizing and appreciating the moment for current milestones around me. Uh, we need to be role models, I believe. Uh, for our, our, our upcoming uh, generations. Uh, we need to show excellence in everything we do, especially, I would say, in terms of um, our daily interactions. My hope for future generations is that they see these examples of representation and that they understand that there's value in showing up authentically as they are. We all bring our different skills and attributes to the workplace and the opportunity to shine in your authenticity in the workplace is something that I hope to set as an example for the future generation. It speaks volumes to see your fellow colleagues that also honor and celebrate your ancestry. It means that we can come to work and fully be ourselves and understand that our unique perspectives can be embraced, will be embraced, and are embraced, and that we can share the unique voice that we have due to the unique experiences that we have. Please walk this journey with us and celebrate with us. We're really excited and honored to be able to raise the Black History Month flag today.